I just spent the last 15 hours learning how to play Pendulums on Duel Links since its release. I've spent well over $1,000, made plenty of mistakes, but the end result is there. And I have broken Pendulums in Duel Links and show you guys the best way to play Duel Links in this whole game. And I'm going to tell you right now that it's going to blow your mind and it's something you need to see. And I firmly believe we'll take over the meta. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I want you to smash the subscribe button. I want you to smash the like button. And let's get straight into this video. It's time to show a pendulum. It's not just the best deck in TCG, but also in Duel Links. Let's go. Let's get started, everyone. If this is your first time on the channel, I do want to introduce myself. I'm Triff Gaming. I talk about pendulums, known as the Pen God. Today, I'm going to show you guys all how to pendulum summon, how to play pendulums on Duel Links, and how to combo with the best deck. And some theory that's gonna blow your mind. I'm gonna teach you guys how to save money on it too. So let's get started. But before we do, I did just blow a thousand dollars so you guys don't have to and learn all these things. So if you guys wanna support your boy, make sure to go on tripgaming.com and get the beautiful Trip Gaming playmats, the most beautiful custom pendulum playmats for the TCG that you guys will ever see. Anyways, let's get straight into this video. So you're gonna witness something that you probably didn't expect. And that is gadgets. Now, in the TCG, we have five cards. In Duel Links, we have four. So I'm going to explain everything and how they work and exactly why you need to play gadgets. If you could take anything from this entire video, it's going to be exactly what I'm going to say right now. Gadgets break pendulums. Did you hear what I just said? You don't play pendulums by themselves. In Duel Links, especially for all my TCG viewers, pendulum to Duel Links is absolutely ass. Okay, the best pendulum is eccentric and it does nothing. Aether is the next best pendulum and it also does nothing. Only going second, it's a good card. But none of these cards and all the pendulums that got released, they're all different levels. None of them are tuners. We have no link monsters. So you can't actually make an interruption. And you can't rely on like three trap cards because you're playing pendulums and you need to save your monsters for your pendulum summon to do combos with. So now I'm going to show you guys how to actually use the gadgets offensively and defensively and how going second, a gadget, one gadget equals the same result as an Aether. I'll show you guys how, but going first, it puts up two XYZ monsters in the field and two cards in hand very easily. So anyways, for all those people that are new to Pendulum and don't understand how it works, you're gonna also, for everyone else that's not even new, you're gonna witness cards like Tanky. Now, a huge thing you need to do is don't even bother getting the structure deck so the structure deck or the the main box i'm sorry if konami's watching this but that's not where the money or where the money cards are in this okay what you need okay at least now in the future you're gonna need some sky irises maybe you'll need some autos pendulum you'll need dragon pit and dragon pulse you'll need those in the future but as of right now this second the best way to play this and it's not even close is by playing searching spells like tanky that give you the opportunity to search either a high scale beast warrior or a low scale beast warrior this now ensures that no matter what your hand is, you're always pendulum summoning. You can play three tankies, three painful decisions to search for a low scale Dragoon to Draconia or a high scale Draconia. And the last one that's also not searchable is Fossil Dig. Fossil Dig is at one, but that's all right. We still need to play it anyway. So now for those who don't know how to pendulum summon, also one thing to mention is that we play exactly 12 pendulum monsters in this deck. This ensures that our Pendulum skill will now allow us the special skill from Duel Links to not just play with three spell and trap zones, but actually play more than three. So we can actually Pendulum Summon and have spells and have Tanky not be dead. So, for those that are new to Pendulum Summoning, this is how you Pendulum Summon. Whether you're a TCG player or not, or Duel Links, this is how you do it. Now, I'm putting this here because it could be three, it, whether you want to play with uh, three zones with the skill, four or five, whatever, okay? It doesn't matter where it is, no, it doesn't matter how small your field is, but you're going to notice here, Minotaurus says right here, you see a six, it's very easy. If you're new to Pendulums, what I'm going to explain right now, literally a 30 second explanation, you're going to know how to Pendulum Summon. Scale six, very simple, right? See this, it says two, it says two. Now, that means that from your hand, you could special summon all your whole hand, as long as the level as you hear gadget level four is three, four, or five in between the two and the six. So imagine a two and a six, every number in between any level. So three, four, five, you could special summon once per turn from your hand. You know how you could normal summon once per turn? 
You can also pendulum summon once per turn. As long as you have two scales, you can summon anything in between. Now, we have nothing in the extra deck. We can also summon one monster from the extra deck. We don't have anything from the extra deck, anything face up. So we can't summon those. You could pendulum summon non-pendulum monsters if you want to. So here we're going to pendulum two gadgets. Now the gadgets effects will trigger adding two more gadgets. Instantly you're going to think, okay, but Triff, what am I going to do with these random gadgets? They're just sitting there looking ugly. Well, they're not ugly. They're beautiful. Just like you. Just like all my pendulum players out there. We're all beautiful. And now what we're going to do, we're going to XYZ into Gear Gigan X. And Gear Gigan X is going to be searching us gold gadget. We did not normal summon yet, so this is where the combo goes in. In Duel Links, only have three three zones, to, three slots to summon monsters in. So here we're gonna actually summon the guy, the gold gadget, and summon uh, uses the fact to summon another green gadget. Now that green gadget is gonna search us a red gadget. This is the card we're gonna drop for next turn, so just don't worry about that. And we're gonna go into an XYZ negate. It could be Roach, it could be Dweller. If you know you're facing Harpy, if you see, if you see a field spell, you put up the Heraldry rank four to stop Harpies. And just like that, look at the plus you get. These two gadgets, if you're playing normal pendulums, would have been, at very best, it would have been a Dragon Pit Magician, a Dragon Pulse Magician that's doing nothing, an Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, a Sky Iris. What the heck are they doing? There's not enough cards to correctly play them. Maybe it's going to be an Aether. It will be an Aether for sure. I'm not playing Aether in this list. Aether conflicts with the level 4s. You want all your scales to be able to pendulum 3, 4, 5. You want them to summon 4s. You want them to build a pendulum to summon level 4s. Aether doesn't work with the gadgets. But Aether doesn't do this. Because going first, Aether is a brick. It sits in your hand. Going second, if the gadget was an Aether, you pendulum a gadget. You don't normal summon in pendulums. So you just normal the gadget. You get a free card in hand with the other gadget. And you bring them into anything like a Diamond Direwolf to get rid of the Aether problem. Or a back row. Malevolent Sin. Gear Gigan to add. Whatever you want. And now on your turn, you're going to add a card. If they don't clear this, they auto lose. If they do clear this, they still auto lose. There's nothing they could do. Because now every turn, you're pendulum summoning three monsters. You just pendulum three, you just pendulum three, and you're still going to go into two more XYZs. It's like nothing happened. And you're not even using a real skill. So imagine when an actual real skill comes out. And as far as consistency is concerned, you're playing eight gadgets, and you're playing so many, you're playing seven cards that search any scale, low or high. And because you're playing a high number of pendulums anyways, all you need to do is open one, one way to the, any spell, any spell that searches any spell and any pendulum and you got this whole combo very amazing now i'm going to show you guys the deck list this is the deck list as you guys saw in the video we played uh, uh we played the gadget gold gadget over kageto kage now one thing to mention here kageto kage is slightly better simply because you could go into king of the feral imps instead of the gear giga x in that combo and you can go into king of the feral imps with literally any single level four in your deck and you have a bunch so that just ensures it happens. If you guys missed it as well, we're playing 30 cards because you need to play 12 pendulums. If you don't play 12 pendulums, you don't get access to the skill. It's like a requirement. And we kind of need that one extra slot because if you active, if you open tanky and treacherous, they will work. To, they will not work together. So that's why if you open both, you're going to need that, that skill to have extra zones. Uh, another thing to mention is that all these cards, the ratios are because they're searchable by different cards. Painful searches these, tanky searches those, eccentric is the only generic one. We're not playing Aether because they conflict with the gadgets. We're only playing 8 because, I mean, you need to play 12 pendulums, and I'm not removing a tanky or a painful. If you take out the dinosaur engine, which is Fossil Dig, this, and, and Rep Reptier, the reason we kept Reptier is Reptier deals with a lot of problems. I want to play Reptier regardless of, of Fossil Dig, but it just so happens to be a dino. So we're going to play this as well to be able to have Fossil Dig search this if we want a high scale. And on top of that, this is 2600 defense, which is actually important. And if you read this, at the start of the damage step, this card bothers a pendulum monster. This card's attack and defense becomes current attack until the end of the damage step. This doesn't matter. Look at his defense. 2600 defense, four stars. That's fucking ridiculous. And the fact that it's a pendulum. Do you have any idea how many decks can clear this card just in defense? Anyways, this is the extra deck over here. If you really want to, I do want to fit in a Gaga Samurai, but I don't even know how that works in Duel Links. I'm not a Duel Links meta expert. But one thing's for damn sure, I'm a pendulum expert. So if you could find a way to fit in Gaga Samurai somewhere in here, this deck will be even crazier because you'll OTK like it's nothing. And in the future, when more broken XYZ monsters come out, this deck just skyrockets to oblivion. As far as bang for your buck and how much value, the, how much cards you will retain in value, Painful Decision and Tanky are going to be cards that are going to stay in pendulums forever. The fact that Painful can search a low or high 
in Magicians as well, because you can get Dragon Pulse if you really need. Tanky can search anything you need. What if Zodiacs come out one day? These cards are will retain in value, so don't consider them wasted, wasted uh, money. Are the, would the gadgets be played in any other deck? Hell no. But at this moment in time, gadgets are the absolute best way to play Pendulums, and honestly, it's not even remotely close. If you compare this deck right now, duel it together. You guys could duel with friends. Remove the gadgets. Remove the gadgets. The deck's garbage. The Pendulum deck right now without gadgets is ass. You're going to play this deck, and you're going to see a random hand. If your hand has a gadget, you know your hand's broken instantly because you always get scales because of the tanky and the painful and the fossil dig. But remove the gadget for anything and you're going to instantly notice that the hand's absolutely garbage. This is why I'm saying gadgets are mandatory. There is a diff another way to play pendulums as well and I'm going to be showcasing it in a video in roughly three hours. But as for right now, this is the only way to play pendulums. And if you play anything otherwise, you're just playing it bad. I'm sorry. The, don't spend your money on the sky irises and the odd eyes i waste i spent literally one thousand dollars today okay one thousand dollars on this game did i need to spend that much Ab absolutely not i do recommend get aether and i do recommend get eccentric aether is still an insane pendulum card and when there's like 14 other insane pendulum cards to play aether would be insane but as of right now there's just yeah of course aether is actually the best pendulum but it conflicts with the level four idea where one gadget equals like two gadgets equal two XYZ. Any gadget you have equals a whole XYZ. So like imagine that. Imagine a gadget equals any XYZ monster you want. And on top of that, it adds XYZ for the following turn. Never ending. It's absolutely broken. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys got this far, especially if you're new to the channel, I just smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. I do intend to talk way more about Duel Links in the future. I actually love Duel Links, despite the fact of wasting $1,000 of my, I don't even care, baby. Make sure to check out TripGaming.com because for every playmat, I'm gonna go buy some more packs. I'm still, I still don't have the gadgets on my Duel Links account, but I'm about to get the tanky legit right now. This second, I'm gonna log on to Duel Links. I'm gonna be streaming it on Twitch down in the description, and I'm gonna be getting the tankies, and I'm gonna be doing whatever I can to get some gadgets. And uh, I want to say that the video in three hours might just blow your mind as well because it's gonna be super innovative. Anyways, I'll see you guys then. Love you all. Peace.